Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Sully Pawns, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire for the Nintendo 3DS. Before we get started, do me a huge favor and leave a like on this video. If you guys are enjoying this marathon, leaving a like would probably be the best way to go about showing your support for the series and appreciation towards this lovely, amazing marathon. I'm having a lot of fun doing this, and I hope you guys are actually enjoying it. Anyways, guys, when we last left off, we left off here in Slayport City after we defeated the Dufort City Gym Leader, Gym Leader Brawly, for the Knuckle Badge. To Today, I'm actually going to be exploring this city a little bit more thoroughly. We have a couple areas that we need to run before we actually are able to exit from this city. Uh, the biggest one being we need to deliver the Devon's goods for uh, Captain Stern. We need to deliver it to him. Uh, I think we talked to one of his colleagues in his, I think it was his museum or his little, yes, yeah, Stern shipyard. We talked to one of his colleagues, so Team Magma should actually be gone away from this museum. Or actually, I think they're inside. I'm pretty positive they're indoor. They're indoors. They're like, oh, hello. Really, you're going to charge me? Excuse me. Please go through reception. Welcome to the Oceanic Museum. The entrance fee is 50. Would you like to enter? No. I, you have to pay this fee, man. You have to pay this fee. Enjoy the museum. It's not like it's a great museum or anything. Like, There's absolutely nothing going on. But look at that. Team Magma is just chilling there, watching and observing all of the things and cases and whatnot. I mean, that's really cool. They they have a sense of of just peacefulness to them, you know. But yeah, I think uh, we need to look for Captain Stern wherever he might be. Definitely, this is this is not it. I mean, they definitely changed this museum a little bit. I don't actually think this area of the museum was even in Ruby Sapphire or Emerald. But it's always fun to compare these games. So wait, is Captain Stern even here? Because this took me to the same exact area, like, literally. Unless I totally somehow managed to skip over him. A video is playing with a guy. Okay. Uh, because when you dive, just, is it, maybe, maybe this is different. May oh, there, is that him? Are you Captain Stern? Maybe? Yes. If you're looking for Stern, that would be me. Ah, those must be the parts I ordered from Mr. Stone at Devon. Thank you for bringing the case all this way. Now we can prepare for our expedition at last. Uh-oh, we have some trouble, man. Team Magmar here. Ha 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 Just a moment, we'll be taking those parts. What is that? Who are you people? We are Team Magma. Our boss needs... Uh, our boss has needed... Had need of these parts in the case, so relinquish it at once. Alright, he wants us to relinquish those parts to him at once. Which is not going to happen, obviously. But look at that. You are challenged by Team Magma Grunt. He doesn't have a name. He's going to send out a Numble. Now, having a Water-type Pokemon would be very, very useful right now. But I don't have one, unfortunately. I still haven't caught one. Because, like I said, we're going to do that together. You and I, we're going to be looking for a Water-type Pokemon at the same time. And we're going to catch it. We're going to nickname it. We're going to have a lot of fun with it. But until then, we're just going to have to deal with it. Because, you know, right now, honestly, having a Water-type Pokemon would be really convenient. Because Team Magma, you know, they do carry lots of Fire-type Pokemon. So, we definitely need that. Why would I use Peck? I used Wing Attack, and now I'm using Peck? What? Bruh. I'm going to die. Too bad for Swell. Too bad for my, my man, Speedy. He just died. He was... Rest in peace, man. Rest in peace and pieces. All right, we're going to send out Groot. Even though it is a kind of dangerous thing to do, you know, with a Numble that's level 16 that has fire moves. It's not really the ideal thing to do, but we're going to just mega mega drain. Man, how does Pokemon energy taste like? I mean, I bet it tastes pretty darn good. And there we go. How? Sully received 640 for winning. Well, that's nothing. Absurd. I was defeated by this child. This is quite disastrous. At this rate, I will become the, t the target of the boss's fury. My, you really are incompetent. I suggest you observe while a future ace grunt of Team Magma shall work on... What? Did he just call me an infant? Dude, look at his face. Look at his face. This dude cannot be older than 15 years old. Well, actually, no. He does look pretty old. He looks like a... I don't want to say middle-aged man. But it's just his face. It looks old. And he has two Pokemon as opposed to one, one of which being a Zubat. So that's exciting. Uh, we got to train a little bit because some... Wow. All right. I don't know why I would do that. I really don't know why I would do something like that. But man, flying is going to really, really kill me. I didn't mean to... I literally misclicked that. But it's okay. It is okay. I wanted to do Giga Drain because, you know... Or Mega... I wanted to, it's Mega Drain. I wanted to do Mega Drain because I wanted to... 
even though it isn't very effective, I still managed to suck some of that Zubat juice. Mm -mm -mm. Tastes delicious, man. And wow, you confused me. All right. Thanks, man. That's exactly what I needed. I just wanted to be confused so bad that you finally did it, and and I'm gonna hurt myself. Okay, all right. This is it. This is where I die from Team Magma. This is this is lovely, isn't it? Team Magma are actually going to kill me. Yep. One more wing attack, and I'm dead. Yep. Amazing. Wow, bro. Are you serious? Are you serious? The game actually gave me that one HP. That is intense. You know, I'm going to use this potion on myself because, you know, he can actually still kill me. He can attack me with wing attack and get a critical hit and I'd probably die because my HP was only restored to 21. Not like it was that much, but if I snap out of this confusion, honestly, I'll be golden. I don't know why I'm struggling against a Team Magma Grunt. I mean, that shouldn't be a thing. And Zubat finally decides to faint. Moving on to the next Pokemon on the team or on his list is Numble. Oh, God. We're going to keep battling. I need to catch a Water-type Pokemon like ASAP. We're going to do that after this. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to focus on catching a Water Pokemon. All right. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Suck on that Numble juice. And it's going to attack me with an Ember, which will actually almost kill me. But not quite. Level 14 Numble, not quite there yet. And also take the last bits of your energy using Mega Drain. Oh yeah. Mm. My 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 Groot loves that. It was hardly it was literally one HP. So you're saying he survived on that little thread of HP? I guess it's only fair. If I was able to survive, he should be able to survive. I mean it's it's it makes sense. It makes perfect sense actually. But we defeated this grunt. We saved the Devon's goods. How could a future ace grunt of Team Magma be defeated? Well, what should we do now? We must obtain this case at once. <laughs> I would never have presided that a mere child would prove such an obstacle. Uh-oh. It is... If it isn't the one. The only. Who, who could that be? Hey, buddy. Now, here I was wondering how you could be held up in s the simple act of seizing a case. Do I take it you are being stymied by this child? Hmm. Though you are but a child, your eyes tell me you're a fierce determination. My heart is pounding in my chest. Yes, I can see why my lowly grunts could not stand one minute against you. I am called Maxi. I stand as the head of Team Magma, a noble organization whose goal is to propel humanity to even greater heights of progress and evolution. Indeed, and you are one of the young persons who may shape our society's future. Considering that fact, I, sh I believe I shall educate you more in the ways of the world, the land. It is in the stage upon which humanity stands. The land exists so we humans might continue onwards and upwards, stepping into the future. For us to continue growing and evolving, humans require a grand stage upon which to stand, a land upon which we can stride for forward, a land which we can explore, develop, exploit. This is the, bu the basis for the growth of all humanity and devoir. This is why we, Team Magma, must increase the landmass of the world. Believe that this will lead the future to eternal happiness for humanity and consecutive for all life. Hmm. I suppose the concept may be too difficult for a child to comprehend. Is that the case? At least I have tried to open your mind. I will take my leave for now. I suggest you take care and that you never, stand, never again stand against Team Magma. I will not be so lenient the next time. I implore that you remember that. We are done here. Wow. He is just so fierce and determined, man. This man is not having any of that. He's like, nope. None of that, mate. None of that. Ah, Sully, it is. That was a quite tense situation. Thank you for helping me out. Ah, yes, I almost forgot. You brought this pot from Devin. I did, man. You just... Uh, so that's good, man. That's good. We, we brought it all the way from Devin. This is it. I can't be standing around here. It's finally time for us to set out on our ocean floor expedition. Thanks for this, and excuse me. All right, little man. We will excuse you. You are excused. Now, I honestly think they should give me a free lifetime pass to enter in and out of this museum at will, as opposed to having to pay 50 bucks every single time I leave. Hey, it's almost nighttime outside. How awesome is that? We're going to be playing this game a lot at night because I'm going to be recording. I'm bulk recording if you guys couldn't tell. So probably there's going to be a couple episodes back to back to back to back where it's actually going to be night. So... 
yeah, uh, I'm not going to try to do too many at night because I'd like to see the world of Hoenn during the day. To me, that would be beautiful and amazing. So that's what we're going to do. But now that we did that, we can actually make our way to the next city pretty much. I mean, there's not really anything holding us back right now. So if we really want to, we can make our way to the next city and take on the next gym leader. But in order for me to do that, I honestly would rather have a... Um, a water type Pokemon because, you know, we're also going to need it for the fire type gym leader, which is actually coming up. I believe they are the next gym leader on the list. And then it's going to be Norman, our Papa, our Fasha, and then Watson, I believe. So um, we need to go find a water type Pokemon. And in order for us to do that, let me actually, oh, there's a Pokeball back there. Let me, let me grab this. Mm. I obtained, I found a PP up. Nice. Awesome. All right, let's see. The thing is, if I go fishing here, I'll probably end up finding, like, tentacles and magic carps and, and stuff that I don't really want. Like, if it were up to me, I'd want a Meryl. Meryl is what I actually really want. But there's no way I think I'm going to find it. So, we're going to register this for select and uh, get going. Wait, is it registered for an item? Oh, there we go. It's registered as Y. Nothing seems to be biting. All right, what about over here? Ooh, in the inside the inside the water. Uh oh, our very first encounter. It's gonna be tentacle man. Oh, it's a magic carp. All right. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna catch this magic carp and I'm gonna continue to train it with exp share, so that way it can evolve into a Gyarados because having a Gyarados on my team would actually be amazing. Um, so let me send out Janimba. Even though I know Magikarp isn't going to do it. I could probably catch it at its level right now. Like, at its HP level right now. So, it's not... I don't think it's going to be an issue at all for us. But yeah. Um, let's go ahead and attack it with, like... Uh, man, let's see. Arm thrust. Don't die. Don't you dare die, Magikarp. Okay, good. It's not gonna die. It's not gonna die. Don't attack five times. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Stop! Thank you. The third hit got a critical hit, and that almost killed it. It would have killed if I got, like, a fourth or fifth hit. But that's good. Now we can actually catch this. Ah, oh, it's gonna be awesome to have our own magic carp, man. Look at that. Mm, one. Two. Three. Voila! We caught ourselves a magic carp, my friends. Amazing. I don't know why this excites me so much. I just it's it's exciting knowing that I'm gonna have a Gyarados. I don't have to do anything to get this magic arm to evolve because EXP share, man, that's an actual thing. So I can have myself a beautiful, lovely Gyarados. And I'm gonna give it a nickname. It's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna seem a little off because it doesn't really suit Magic Carp, but when it's a Gyarados, it reminds me a lot of uh Roku from Avatar The Last Airbender's Dragon. It just looks like... It, I mean, Gyarados looks really freaking awesome. And it reminds me of Roku's Dragon from Avatar The Last Airbender every time I look at it. So, it's definitely something that I want. And I, I'm a huge Avatar fan, so having like that in my Let's Play is just kind of amazing. I want, I want to always be reminded of my love for Avatar and just whatnot. So, uh, one last thing we're going to do is we're going to heal again really quickly before we get going on our journey. I'm probably going to end up doing a lot of training between this episode and the next episode. So that way we can make some progress and gains with our Pokemon. And we're not having to focus too much on skipping a bunch of things because we're not powerful enough to take on some of the trainers, gym leaders, etc, etc. But for now, guys, we can leave Slateport at will and make our way to the next city unless someone's going to stop us. Hey, that's Lysia. Now they do shooting. Okay, what are they? Are you serious, Lysia? Let's go. What are they talking about? Oh, it's that it, those interviewers, man.
When I took a good look, I could easily see that Sully is a powerful trainer. With several badges of his own. You mean a couple? I, ha I literally have two. Sully. I mean, I guess several works, because it could be anywhere between two and, like, seven. But what is she talking about? I got contest pass. So this is, like, something that's unimportant. It's something that you could do on your own time. Whenever you have that free time, you could just go to the contest hall and then and then do contests with Pokemon. Beauty contests, I believe. So she did give us a couple of things. Sully's story begins today. Yep. And this chapter should be titled... Okay, stop doing that. That's really making me uncomfortable. A sudden encounter. Miraculous contest scouting. That's what I'd call it. Now, everybody out there watching, you'd better expect great things from Sully because I do. That's it for today. Lisa Miraculous Contest Scouting. See y'all next time. Clap, 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 clap. Lisa, you are so cute. Okay, that's just weird, man. If you feel up for it, try your hand on a contest for me. Okay, tee Dude, what what just happened? Are you serious? This made me feel very uncomfortable. Not me, but I'm pretty sure it made Brendan feel very uncomfortable. Brendan, Brendan wants none of that, man. But yeah, here we are. This is where the bike path is at. Unfortunately, we don't have a bike yet, so we're not going to be able to do anything yet. Let's keep going through Route 110 and head for Mount Chimney. It'll be quite a long journey. Let's make rest in Movile City, which is on the way. I concur. All right, here we go. This is where things will get very interesting. Oh, it's a trainer. Ha ha, I would go anywhere to show off my delightful Pokemon. All right, man. That is awesome. He will go anywhere to show off his delight. Or she, it's a she, man. Pokemon fan Isabel sent out a Plusle. I bet she'll have a Plusle and a Minin. We're just going to send out Speedy because Speedy is the one who is very needy. That was a terrible joke. It's a, very, a terrible rhyme, I should say. It wasn't really a joke or anything. I'm just going to use Spock and bam, kill me. Super effective. How did I not remember that lightning is super effective on flying? So I guess we could actually send a... Man, Janimba is still too weak. I should probably do that old switcheroo technique where I send him out, switch him out, send him out, switch him out. You know, if that makes any sense. I think that would be very good for Janimba because he definitely is in need for some training. Having a good fighting type on my team like him would actually make this game a lot easier, especially these random battle encounters because, man, fighting would just pretty much do that. Exactly that. We're going to Mega Drain this again. And it didn't die. Unfortunately for us, it didn't die. Yeah, spark me, man. It's not going to do anything. Ha <laughs> ha. Sucker. All right, we're going to pound. Wait, what? I can only use Mega Drain? Pfft. Okay, I'll take it. I will only use Mega Drain. For as long as I'm battling you, I will only use Mega Drain. You're the one that's in serious trouble, mister. Not me. Or ma'am, I should say. She is a ma'am. We grew to level 21. We still have quite a bit of levels to go through before we want to evolve again. And Janimba wants to learn Face Force Palm, which I'm going to just keep my old moves. It's not really point. There's really no point in teaching him any moves at this point because it's not like I'm gonna be able to use him as often. But I could actually send him out. Let me actually send him out because YOLO. Why the heck not? We're gonna send him out, and then we need to go back and heal because our little poor. I was gonna say Swallow or Taylo is is dying. It's dead. All right, let's do Arm Thrust. Yeah, so you spark me, man. All right. Mm. Mm. Wow, I only hit twice. Okay. Let's go back out <laughs> to uh, to Groot. I mean, come on. There's not really a whole lot of, I can... I, need to, I seriously need to train my Pokemon off screen. Between the last episode and this episode, I haven't done any training. And that's just because I'm trying to record these back to back. Uh, without taking too much time in between. So I think definitely I'm in the need of training. And uh, I will do that because it'll probably help me out significantly as opposed to, you know, wasting five minutes on a battle like this. That is definitely not worth it at all. I mean, this had a plus one in mine and both being level 15 and I have six Pokemon, all of which are either almost 15 or higher. So it's definitely a disgrace. I could actually also probably catch an electric, electric somewhere out here. 
I'm pretty sure that's where they they're hiding usually most of the time they're, they hide somewhere in these areas so I might actually catch me one of them all right let's go ahead and attack it with pound it's gonna use Spock and then pound should kill it mm. Wow ah we just slapped a little tiny mine in and puzzle and Janimba grew to level 14 so he's definitely making some gains there Puchiana grew to level 15 and Roku grew to level 11. Ah, I cannot wait till Magic Carp evolves, my friends. That'll be the day. Probably one of the happiest days in my own adventure. Where I get myself my Gyarados. Okay, there's a Pokemon crying. So there's it's there, there's definitely a Pokemon out there in the grass. That's what you, it usually means when it cries like that. And as you can see, the second Pokemon that I could catch in the water out here is a Tentacool. If you look at the map... Or the bottom screen, it will show you that. We've already caught the, magi the Magic Carp, and the last Pokemon is a Tentacle that's on the list. So, we're going to do... I don't think we're going to catch a Tentacle. I'm going to save that for the very end of the Let's Play, where I will be doing a live stream on my channel. I think it will be called Complete the Decks, where I'll go through, and I'll catch every single one of the Pokemon in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Both of the games, not just one, and both of the games. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a couple exclusive Pokemon to both of the games, so... If that's the case, then yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun with it. But uh, for now, let me actually check out this house. This is the Trickster's house. If you do this house, you can actually get a rare candy. But I'm going to save that for the post game. All of that will be done for the post game because Hoenn's story is pretty short. So you might want to save a couple things here and there for some post game. Uh, but let's actually change into the map and see where this will actually take us. Um, let's take a look at the map right now. All right, let's see. Okay, we need we need the we need to touch the pen to do this. So wait, what? What is that? Okay, Old Dill Town is right there. So that's not where you want to go. Yeah, that's definitely not where we want to go. I just wanted to make sure if it connected, and it does, in fact. So that lady is probably a trainer, just like chilling there. We need to actually go this way. Hey, buddy, you want to battle? I don't have a bike, so I'll take the Legio way. Walk on the low road. Okay. Well, that's sad, man. You should totally invest into a bike. Bikes are very good. They can come in handy. They can save you a lot of time, too. All right. Hello. Hey, buddy. Let's battle. I found some cool Pokemon in the tall grass around here. Ooh, he's probably going to have a couple electric-type Pokemon himself. Young Satami. He has a Poochiana. All right. Not bad. We can actually use... um. Tail load to take this one out. But yeah, guys, how many of you guys have Pokemon Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire? And how many of you guys that don't have it are excited to get it or are even getting it? I mean, I'm going to give away four copies at the end of the LP. Because, you know, I'm going to try to help uh, four people get the game if they can't get the game. Um, because, personally, man, I feel like if you're not playing this game, you're just kind of living under a rock. This is, this is awesome. Like, seriously, how are you not playing this game yet? It's going to sound electric, so I should probably switch out my Pokemon right now to... I want to say... I'm going to just do Groot, because I don't want to die again. Electric probably has a couple Thunder moves under its belt, and it could easily kill me. Because it's probably also going to be level 15 or something like 14. Well, there you go. Pretty close to what I was... to what I said, so... We're just going to do Fury Cutter... I don't even know what kind of, like, type this Pokemon is, to be honest. Probably Grass and Electric, maybe. I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't really specialize in, in third-generation Pokemon, so... Most of them are a mystery to me. It's been a long time since we've played third-gen. Alright. We gained 117 or 177 EXP points, and his final Pokemon on us is Aeron. And we're gonna just keep battling, because... Yeah... Now, if I had a fighting type of Pokemon, I'd easily be able to kill this one. But unfortunately, again, I don't. So we're just going to do Mega Drain and suck it. Suck it off all the way until it's drained. It's going to use Metal Claw. Awesome. That's got a critical hit, really. All right, let's do Pound. Uh, slap in the face. You like that? He freaking liked that. He absolutely loved it. Awesome. How is it living like that? It has like 1 HP and it's still alive. She just let it die, man. If my Pokemon was living on the thrill. What?
Are you freaking kidding me? There is no way. I can't even see its red bar. I mean, because it's so small, I can I could literally not see it. But suddenly, it's managing to make all of these gains and live and kill my Gravile. Bruh, that's just some straight up bogus, man. Alright, did we learn a new move? We didn't. We didn't learn a new move. Speedy grew level 17, so Speedy might actually evolve. Unless he evolves at 18. Again, I keep forgetting. Unless it's actually 21 or something like that. But he wants to learn double team. I'm not going to do that because I kind of want to keep his move sets the way they are currently. And we're just going to keep old moves. And yes, yeah, so we're going to forget double team. And Sid grew to level 14. Wants to learn faint attack. Jesus, everyone wants to learn moves. Now we're going to keep old moves. And yeah, that's it. And we defeated Youngster Timmy, or Tommy, Youngster whatever his face is. Anyways guys, I'm actually going to end off the episode here. I'm going to focus on training a little bit while I'm in this area. And then hopefully in the next episode we'll continue from this exact spot. And we'll make our way to the next city and maybe, maybe just take on the next team leader. You don't really know. Anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed and I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Goodbye.